Hey guys, and welcome to the second edition of Keep Your Coins in Your Pocket, where I'm going to talk about this lovely hair, and you'll never guess what it is. So this is my Malibu doll face inspired kinky curly hair, although this hair isn't really kinky curly. So this hair ran me $24. I mean, I only used two packs, making each pack $12, but I still think that's a good price. You might need more hair if you want to do a full head, because I did my full head, but as you can see, I have the shaved sides and back, like my taper cut. So yeah, this is the kind of hair it is. It is the Equal Jamaican Twist 18. It's basically Marley hair on a weft. And it comes like two hairs next to each other, then a little space and two hairs next to each other in case you want to make like a braided or Havana twist wig. So all I did was just, I, if you can see, I did a sewing on my hair. I'll show you pictures, but I did a sewing on my hair and I just left a middle part right here. And in this middle part, right here, I crocheted it. So right now I'm just doing like a little flip over to kind of get the same effect that Malibu Dollface had in his video. The hair doesn't really look like this. It looks exactly like how the lady on the pack has it when you install it. Oh, this picture on the back, it looks really good. Nice. Okay, so it looks exactly like that when you install it. So it literally looks like you have like Marley hair sticking out of your head. Oh, I just realized that my shirt matches my hair. I think this is a better alternative for crochet crochet braids as you can make a crochet braid wig or a twisted wig without having to use that netted cap and spending forever crocheting when you could just sew or glue it on. It actually doesn't really shed for synthetic hair because usually when I use equal hair the wefts are super duper thin and it's just like why? But these were actually kind of like double wefted like the weft were pretty thick but yeah it hasn't been shedding a lot at all like usually with crochet braids when you do like this you get a big ball of shedding oh, I just got some shedding but <laughs> like ooh. so usually when you do like this you get some shedding but I don't really know so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna style it because I don't really plan on leaving it this big because I am a student and I can't cook stuff right now like this Rotted the hair, and as soon as I dipped it in the hot water, I took off the flexi rod immediately. And here's how the curls look now. I'm not gonna separate them until they're fully dried because I separated one, and it looked kind of like a wet and wavy type of look. So I'm not gonna separate them until they're fully dried. So um, taking off the actual rods before it dried didn't affect the curl, but you want to be extremely careful when dipping the flexi rods in this type of hair into the hot water. Because once you take your hair out of the cup, the hair will be dripping water. And when you unravel the flexible rod, it might be dripping water also. So you don't want to burn yourself and you want to take precautions to like, you know, have towels on you, wear long pants and long sleeves while you do it so you just don't burn yourself. So since the hair isn't dry, I don't I'm not in a rush or anything. I'm not in a rush or anything to uninstall the to unravel the hair, so all I'm gonna do is just sit under my hair dryer and I'm gonna come back to show you guys how I separate it once it's all dry. Okay, hey guys, so this is the hair fully dried. I actually didn't sit under the dryer. I just air dried it. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I pull apart the curls. It was very puffy on the top. It was very puffy on the top. So the way that I took out the puffiness was all I did was I took a blow dryer. Let's imagine this is the blow dryer. And I just held the hair down and just on high, on the highest heat and high speed. And the blow dryer gets really hot, so then I just did that all the way around. So now I'm gonna separate the curls. Hey 
you guys, so here's the finished look. So I'm just gonna leave the curls like this. Let me pull all the hair to the front. I'm just gonna leave the curls like this for now because I don't want them to get too frizzy because I know the curls are gonna frizz up as time goes. So I'm gonna give you guys a 360. update video on this hair and if you want more of like daily or weekly updates just to see if the hair is frizzy or if I ever really am gonna give you guys an update then you can follow me on so on my social media Instagram at ASAP underscore centric and snapchat at ASAP centric okay guys thanks for watching bye